Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial just to show you the value of using Shift-I. Shift-I is a hotkey for Isolate Selected. So when you're working in a scene like this, here I have, I have this huge New York City block, which I downloaded online, and it's just a set. And inside this set I have a character and a camera. So you can see my camera here, and this is the, the view through my camera. So say I'm going to do some animation in this shot. This, this set is huge. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of geometry and textures. And it's just it's a little heavy. Maya needs to catch up when I orbit around, uh, zoom in and pan. And I'll be doing that a lot to select controls in my perspective window here. And I don't want to have all these set items on at the same time. You can accidentally select things, but you can click this button here to not select objects or not select geometry. So now we can't select any geometry, but we can still select the controls. So we can do that, but still it's still just, we just don't want to have all this clutter in the background sometimes so it's nice to turn things off say we select the character so I have the whole character selected we want to click our button so we can uh, select geometry and I'm just gonna select this uh, this rooftop piece here so it's the only thing we really need in this scene to do the animation um, we do want to turn it on later to make sure that his posing is staged well against the background but just to do the, the general animation work we're gonna select just the items that you really need for the shot to do the animation and we're gonna hold shift down and press I so it'll work in any Maya panel that you have activated so shift I there and we can activate this panel the perspective window and shift I and now we just have what we need in the file and then you might want to click this button again the select objects button so now you can just select the controls and you won't accidentally select the geometry you only have showing in your file what you need to do the animation with and now we can go ahead and pose our character and do the animation without accidentally clicking on anything else in the scene. And as you're animating, you can scrub through your animation to keep checking it. And we don't have this heavy file. And then if you want to turn everything back on, you can use Control-1, or you can go to Show, Isolate Selected, it's the very top one, and just uncheck View Selected. Or you can just do it here in this window as well. Isolate Selected, and then uncheck View Selected. It's a super handy function. Most experienced Maya users know about it and use it regularly. But surprisingly, there's a lot of people that don't use it. I didn't use it for years. I was using the just the hide and unhide objects. I was using these layers. And I did that for years until somebody in an animation studio where I was working tuned me into the isolate selected function in Maya. And I've been using it ever since. If you knew about it already, great. If you didn't know about it, that's going to make your life way easier once you start using it. Thanks for watching.